Hello, everybody. Steve Graham is president of the LVPPA. Uh, this message is going out to all of our uh, future supervisors, future sergeants, uh, and our current members. So first and foremost, I know we're in the testing process for supervisor, for sergeant. I want to say congratulations to everybody that passed the written. It's moved on to the assessment center and the oral boards. Uh, we wish you the best of luck. The best thing for us as the PPA is to have good, competent supervisors that want to be leaders and not just bosses. Now, with that said, as you move into that supervisory position, that sergeant position, uh, we want to let you know that you can still be a member of the PPA. And as a matter of fact, we want you to be a member of the PPA. We want to have all of our folks working together, sergeants and troops. When we made this change several years back, we recognized the need for sergeants and the troops to be in the same group, doing the same thing, because they're out there doing the same mission. A sergeant to us isn't necessarily an administrator like a lieutenant or captain. And so it was important for us to have folks standing together. There's a lot of benefit on both sides of having sergeants in our union with POs and COs and having POs and COs in the union with their sergeants. And so we were glad to bring a bylaw change forward that allowed it. Currently, we have close to 80 to 85 sergeants that are members of the PPA currently. It's a good number for a group that never really goes out and tries to get supervisors as sergeants as members uh, but what we recognize is is that we have put a lot of effort into our troops that are going to promote and we want to keep them with us we want to talk about the things that are important to you uh, one of the main things that is super important is that even as a sergeant if you're charged with a crime in the course and scope of your duty that we provide you a legal defense now some people may wonder well what if it never happens it may never happen well we may never have car wrecks either uh, but you still have car insurance. And I know if I was a sergeant, I'd still want access to the PPA, the funds behind the PPA, and someone like David Roger and the law firms that we partner with. If we look at Kenny LaPera's case many years ago, that case only went to grand jury, and we spent about $150,000. David Roger came to me and said, Steve, I need experts to defend this officer. And I said, you do what you have to do to make sure that officer never sees the inside of a jail and lives a happy life after this case is over. And we commit that to our sergeants as well. If you're a member of the PPA, if you're a member of mine, you have my full support when the time comes when someone may charge you with a crime in the course and scope of your duty. And of course, on top of that, you still get all the events, uh, the retirement mementos, everything that goes along with it. But representation from the best union in this state, I believe, is important. And access to our criminal defense team without fear of coming out of pocket yourself, is important. My most recent article in the Vegas Beat magazine talks about specifically sergeants and their ability to stay in the PPA. Your dues don't change because you make more money. They stay the same as everybody else. And again, we want you to be here. We want to see you stay with us. And we know you want to stay with us. You've been with us for many years. And we want to keep you. So if you have any questions, please call up to the office. Talk to me. We're going to be out there talking to sergeants and trying to get them engaged. And one of the big commitments that we have to you is this. A few weeks back, we made a move that in my time has never happened. We appointed an at-large sergeant to the board of directors. We wanted to show our commitment from the PPA to your position, and we gave you a voice on our board. Currently, Sergeant Angulo is that rep. In October, we're going to run an election for a PO and a CO sergeant to also sit in that room with the board of directors because it's important that they have a representative. Our city marshals have a representative. Our court marshals have a representative. And of course, the COs and POs at the troop level do as well. And we think it's high time that you have one as well. So to show our commitment to you, we're going to run that election. Current members that are supervisors of the PPA will be able to put in for those spots. And with that comes a full participation in our meetings and addressing your concerns with the sheriff on down whenever you have them. So again, if you have any questions, please reach out. We look forward to keeping you as our member. We look forward to you having a productive career as a sergeant, as a leader, as the person that the troops can turn to. And if you have any other questions, please just give us a call.
Thank you, be safe, and congratulations again on making it through the process. One of them, one